some big name retailers are coming to the Scotch Bluff Mall and adjacent property. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. And our top story, new national retailers are coming to Scotts Bluff. This week, representatives from Rock Step Capital, who own the mall and former Kmart site, spoke before the Scotts Bluff City Council. Rock Step Capital's Director of Leasing, Racine Leahy, says that construction is underway on a unit next to Harbor Freight, but says she has to remain tight-lipped on who is coming in at this time. So I can start with the leasing on the uptown, uh, the mall portion of that. Right now we have one tenant under construction. Really wish we could release the name. However, these nationals do not allow us to release any names until they're ready. And so this particular tenant is not ready yet. We have two leases that are coming in uh, this week that will be <clears throat> executed. And those deliveries will be in September and October. So we expect two tenants to be open this year and one tenant next year. The former Kmart property was purchased a little more than a year ago. And Leahy explained the timeline for that property as well. Right now we have two or three candidates for the um, Kmart building. However, it's a timing issue and this will not happen overnight. A lot of these nationals, they need distribution centers to be able to serve this market. So it takes a while. So we can see the out parcels will happen first and then the inline tenants will happen second. During this week's council meeting, an updated ordinance allowing a 2% sales tax for the mall and Kmart properties was approved, which will be used for upgrades and repairs to the two properties. Well, the Nebraska Department of Transportation, the Associated General Contractors Nebraska Chapter, and partner agencies across the state are recognizing Work Zone Awareness Week. AGC Executive Director Katie Wilson said motorists need to pay better attention to the roadways, especially when traveling in a construction zone. In the most recent AGC of America Work Zone Awareness Survey, 42% of Nebraskans said that they had a crash come into their job site. That's like one to five crashes. That is way too many. Our goal is to reduce that number to zero. We must bring awareness to travelers in our state to slow down, put your phones down, and please pay extra attention when you come into a cone zone. NDUT Director Vicki Kramer and other presenters were surrounded by 53 orange traffic cones, one for each Nebraska Transportation Department worker who was killed in a work zone accident. Kramer says it's everybody's responsibility to remain watchful when driving through construction on the state's roadways. We'll have more news right after this. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. A new venue serving up in-house made ciders and great tasting barbecue has been a hit so far in Scotts Bluff. Earlier this month, Papa Moon Brewing Headquarters opened its doors on Avenue B. Co-owner Catlin Massey and her husband Ryan bought the building about a year ago and have been working tirelessly ever since to get the restaurant ready for opening. 
originally it started out as a salon and all of that when TLC and Olex owned it and then from there it went to a hemp farm and a CBD processing area and then we bought it and when we bought it there was still a lot of the salon aspect still in it all of that like it, it was all still you could tell it used to be a salon it still had all the sinks and the cabinets and everything else that went with that and um so we, we, so we just kind of, we tried to do as much of the construction as possible, but we had a great construction company that kind of helped us bring our dream to life when it came to all of that kind of stuff. So, For more than a decade, they have been stationed out on County Roads J, northeast of Scotts Bluff, crafting wines, ciders, and meads but their new digs will allow them to produce more for distribution. So all of our ciders and our meads and stuff have migrated here to with us. So we'll we'll continue to, to offer all of our same ciders that we have out at the farm. Um, all of those are still on tap here, just like we have out there. Um, but we are here offering, um, we have a few local beers from local different breweries around the Panhandle. Um, we've got one from Flyover. We've got um, some from Second Chapter Brewing. And then we also have one, um, a couple from Brewery 719. Um, so as far as tap, that's those are additional things that we're offering here that we don't out at the farm. And then um, here, the only other difference is we've got a full menu. So we've got lunch and dinner and um, a great barbecue and a great kitchen crew that's pumping out some really great food. So. One unique feature inside is a two-story slide, which raises the question, why the slide? No, it was just that was the one thing that we decided we really wanted to do is that we, we the first thing, first decision we made in here was that we've got to have a slide. So that was kind of Ryan's dream. It's what he decided we've got to have. And it was just kind of a fun aspect to have for kids and adults. So she says the slide paired with a kids play area in the corner also helps make the Papa Moon Brewing headquarters a place where the whole family can enjoy. The biggest draw, the biggest thing is being able to have a family friendly place for you to go with your families and kids and stuff like that. That's kind of been one of the best things is that there's plenty of room for the kids to run around and play. There's um, plenty of opportunity for adults to be able to sit and have that bed those conversations and enjoy your meals and you don't have to rush home at the end of it you get to come and hang out and your kids enjoy it and that's probably one of the biggest things is we've seen kids fighting their parents no I don't want to go yet and the development of the property is far from over as the owners have big plans for the three greenhouses on the back side of the building so we the greenhouses are not up and running just yet that's kind of our next project our big project was just getting all of this stuff up and running and cleaned up and ready to go um, but the greenhouses are next for us uh, we plan on using one of them for pickleball courts so we'll be able to um, have the public come in and play pickleball and have some ciders and stuff as you're playing and then um, the other one we're going to use as um, like actual greenhouses so we'll plant vegetables and plants and flowers and use it for a variety of different things but we want to be able to um, produce as much vegetables and produce and stuff to support our kitchen as we can and then um, we also want to do classes with you know make your own bouquets and cut flowers and stuff like that down the road as well so Papa Moon headquarters is located at 3109 Avenue B and they are open Wednesdays through Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. in Scotts Bluff Ryan Murphy KNEB TV News It takes a community to keep our waters clean. Please don't let pollutants be swept and carried away into our storm drains. This can cause problems like clogged storm sewers and contaminating the area's rivers, lakes, and ponds. Non-point source pollutants are not from one source or property, but instead from many sources and properties, which can impair our waterways. Even one piece of trash can add up. Tri-City Stormwater wants you to remember, it's our water, our responsibility.
this week's featured pet of the week, we meet Loon, a six-month-old kitten who's been at the Humane Society for several weeks now. Staff says he may be shy at first, but once you get to know him, he's the best, sweetest personality anybody desires. His adoption cost is just $85, and that includes his neuter, microchipping, and all vaccinations. To meet Loon or any of the cats and dogs they have available for adoption, you can, on, you can head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society during normal business hours. This isn't just a beautiful hospital. It's the home to exceptional patient care. This is where specialty clinics meet your needs. This is where a friendly smile, a warm hand, and an empathetic ear exist to care for you. This is us. Box Butte General Hospital. Great things are happening here. Welcome to Kelly's Liquor, your liquor cabinet. Whether you're a wine enthusiast, a whiskey sommelier, a tequila connoisseur, or you just love your beer, Kelly's has the best selection of what you're looking for. Family owned and operated since 1946 and right on 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Come see us today at Kelly's Liquor, your liquor cabinet. And remember to be a good neighbor. Don't drink and drive. Kelly's Liquor, West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Midweek Community Calendar brought to you by Riverstone Bank. The community calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. We're local and we love our community. Tired of feeling stuck? Not sure if you are on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help keep your finances moving forward with checking account options to fit your lifestyle and an online account chooser to make finding the right account easy. Control your financial future with helpful budgeting tools and automatic savings plans. Now is the time to enjoy the ride with Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally tonight, three area United Way supporters won United Way of Western Nebraska's 2022-2023 campaign raffle for cash drawing with a cash prize sponsored by Platte Valley Bank. Tim Sherlock of Alliance, Robin Hawksworth of Scottsbluff, and Kathleen Snyder of Kimball were the three lucky winners, each winning $500. 
they became eligible by donating generously to the United Way. PVC representatives were on hand to present the winnings in Scotchbluff and Alliance with Executive Director Karen Benzel. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.